The radio frequency ablation system consists of a generator, foot switch, grounding pads, electrode, and a peristaltic pump. The internal cooling of the electrode reduces the temperature of the adjacent tissue in order to prevent carbonization. This allows the emission of energy to achieve a wider ablation zone. Grounding pads are required to complete the electrical circuit. About 20 to 30 percent of women at childbearing age have myomas, which may cause severe pain, frequent urination, and excessive bleeding. There are four types of myoma, and the most common one is intramural. RF Medical's VCTM electrode has a variable exposure tip which can be adjusted according to the size of myoma to be treated. The length of the electrode varies from 20 cm to 35 cm and the length of the active tip can be adjusted from the handle. The electrode is connected to the generator and the inflow tube to the peristaltic pump. To perform myoma RFA, a needle guide must be attached to the vaginal ultrasound probe. The needle guide allows the electrode to be inserted parallel to the ultrasound and facilitates myoma targeting. After confirming the position of the myoma with the use of ultrasound, insert the electrode in the myoma and position the active tip in the center. Depending on the size of myoma, the length of active tip and ablation time may differ. Extra caution must be taken in order to avoid heat transmission to nearby organs. This is achieved by under ablation of the myoma. The size of ablated myomas will gradually decrease over time.